I've been using the Noble Pro E10i treadmill since about March 2024, since upgrading from the E8i, so I've got a really good grasp of what it's all about. Yes, I am a Noble Pro ambassador and I really want you to buy a Noble Pro treadmill, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to give you my honest review. I'm going to tell you the bad as well as the good things about the E10i treadmill from Noble Pro. So let's give it a go. First off, getting the darn thing set up. Now, this beast is really heavy, which speaks to its durability, but you will need help getting it into position. Thankfully, Noble Pro do offer a service where depending on where you live, they will try to put it in exactly the right position for you. However, you may still need help. It is heavy. The instructions are very clear and very easy to understand, but you might need help from somebody to help you hold things in place while you screw them in or attach some cables. Once you've got it all set up though, the first thing you'll notice is the gorgeous 10.1 inch touchscreen. One of the fantastic things about the Noble Pro E10i is the tech inside that machine. You can load apps directly onto the treadmill screen. So from the Aurora or the Android app store, choose virtually any app like Netflix or YouTube or significantly Zwift. You can download Zwift onto the treadmill itself, which means no other devices to mess around with. You don't need another device running Zwift. You don't need a big screen to run Zwift. You don't need a computer. You can simply run everything on the treadmill. One of the problems we had with the E8i machine was that the touchscreen wasn't quite as sensitive, not quite as responsive as you would have liked it to be. Not so with the E10i treadmill screen. It is so much more responsive, so much quicker to respond so much more sensitive which makes for such a satisfying and seamless experience when you're using the treadmill and loading apps from third parties onto the screen. You can also use the screen to calibrate the treadmill and to download software firmware updates onto the machine. The treadmill will track your speed, it will track your heart rate, it will track incline and it will also track cadence which is something that a lot of treadmills, even high-end ones, don't necessarily do. Now in practice, as a Zwift runner, that makes things super convenient, super easy. I simply load up Zwift on the treadmill, I select my paired device as the Noble Pro Connect, I select my cadence device as Noble Pro Connect, I can even connect a heart rate monitor through the treadmill onto Zwift. Speed and incline are controlled by these buttons, but you can also control it from the touch screen as well. Now moving on from all that beautiful tech at the top of the treadmill down to the more important parts of the treadmill, the deck, the belt and the motor. Now the motor is 4.2 horsepower but the more important number is 3 continuous horsepower. That's what you want to look at when you're buying a treadmill is uh, how consistent is the motor going to run over a long period of time at a consistent pace. So it's 3 chp. The treadmill can hit 22 kilometers an hour max speed, that's 13 and a half miles per hour. I will never be reaching that speed and I think most of us will be quite happy with that as a top speed. Incline also very happy with that, goes up to 16%. Not the highest of all treadmills in the world, but most treadmills only go to around 10 or 12%. You'll often find that when you do actually test the incline of a treadmill with something like this, one of these meters, that it's not actually quite reached the incline stated in the manual. The E10i got very very close indeed to 16% incline when I tested it. The running area on the deck is a spacious 155 centimeters by 58 centimeters, which means you're not going to go flying off the back and you've got plenty of room left and right. Before we get on to talking about speed and accuracy, if you are enjoying this video or if you're finding it useful or helpful, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Click that like button and share this video with your friends, especially anyone who is considering buying a Noble Pro treadmill. 
One of the most talked about and argued aspects of treadmill running is how accurate is the speed on a treadmill compared to real life or just generally how accurate is the motor pulling that belt around. Now I measured the speed of the E10i belt and motor using a calculation I've used on many different treadmills before. First off you measure the length of the treadmill belt itself then you run for 60 seconds at a set speed and count the number of revolutions of the belt. Now I am 71 kilos. It will be different if you are heavier or you are lighter than me. At 10 kilometers per hour the treadmill measured exactly 10 kilometers per hour. At 15 kilometers an hour the treadmill measured 15 kilometers an hour. It was only when I started running at 20 kilometers per hour that the treadmill belt dropped off slightly and measured around 19.2 kilometers per hour. So if you are heavier than me you might find that drop off comes a bit earlier. If you are lighter than me you may notice no drop off whatsoever. And in terms of comparison to other treadmills that is very good indeed. You will find most treadmills even quite expensive treadmills will start to drop off when it gets to the really higher speeds. The problem is most of us opt for poor quality low budget treadmills which have poor motors and give us a false sense of our running ability either telling us we're running way faster than we actually can or making it feel a lot more difficult than it actually should be because of the poor quality deck belt and motor. A good quality treadmill with a solid deck, a smooth belt and a powerful motor will give you an accurate speed and depending on the airflow in your room your heart rate should reflect that and it should be similar to what you run outside. I previously used the E8i treadmill from Noble Pro and whilst that is a great treadmill it does give you a rather forgiving ride, perhaps giving you a little bit more comfort and a little bit of an easy run. The E10i is a solid treadmill and it will give you a much more realistic road feel. It might feel harder at first but when you get on it and when you use it more and more you will realize it's much more realistic and much more like outdoor running. Compared to other treadmills in the same price range like the Technogym My Run for example the Noble Pro E10i really holds its own in terms of connectivity and app integration. Whilst the My Run is user friendly and sleek and has a great road feel the E10i has more bells and whistles in terms of tech whilst still delivering on the actual quality of the running experience. Going back to multimedia for a second if you're not using Zwift or in fact even if you are because you can load multiple apps and run them at the same time on the E10i screen you can load YouTube or Netflix or any number of other apps from the Android or the Aurora store and you can listen on the integrated speakers or the better option probably is to plug in your Bluetooth headphones. And talking of the speakers if there are any minor drawbacks to the E10i the speakers are probably one. Uh, you'll never find fantastic speaker quality in treadmills I've never found one yet and the E10i doesn't have the greatest speakers you would have to pump them up quite loud uh, to hear anything clearly from Netflix while running on your treadmill much better to use your Bluetooth headphones uh, and similarly the fan isn't that great either there is a tiny fan inside the head of the E10i but once you get above a certain speed it really doesn't make that much difference much better to have a separate fan to keep you cool during your run. In summary the E10i treadmill from Noble Pro is a top notch machine bringing an almost commercial gym treadmill feel to your home running experience. Its durable build, its advanced tech features and its realistic road feel make it perfect for serious and casual users. Whilst it takes up more space and has a higher price tag its performance and features may make it worth it for you on your fitness journey. If you'd like to have a look at my review of the Noble Pro E8i treadmill, the one I had before this, then click that link right there. That will take you over there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the start line next time.